Have you ever seen a video that has this? Or maybe this? Or maybe one of those? Uh, there's a company called Motion VFX that creates packages that you can install on your iPad, Mac, Windows machine, whatever, to be able to make these things and not be a tremendous amount of work and just a little bit of money. And like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this out of my money that the channel's made, which is very little. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to get it, how to use them. And I'll show you a couple of the ones that I use that if you've watched my videos, you'll see them pop up like this one. And I made this myself and it took quite a while. It was a little bit complicated. It can be done, but it's not as polished as some of the others. So let's, uh, let's get down on the computer and uh, we'll show you the computer, the iPad, the Windows machine, the whole bit, and uh, not take all day. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today. Let's get to it. So on the Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and record my screen here. We're at the motionvfx.com website. Be links to everything in the description. Now here you have Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, and they have stock elements. Today we're gonna to look at DaVinci Resolve and I've, I've watched a bunch of the other YouTubers uh, use this and uh, really looks polished when they do it and that's what I'm going for. So if I go to YouTube now, there's just a ton of packages that you can get. Um, logos and clean transitions, music, uh, MKBHD's actually got a package on there, which I'm sure everything's good and clean on it. They actually have one for Keynote. But I picked the MTuber 3 DV. Now you can go get cinematic things, titles, transitions, whatever, but I picked this one. And they have a ton of tutorials. Um, they tell you exactly what machine to run on. They explain it really well. That's the thing I like about it. So what you'll do, you'll actually go in and purchase whichever package you want. Now I don't, it depends on what you want. This is the one I wanted, so I went ahead and got it so you can get it for Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve and it's $109, a little, a little pricey. Now they gave me a $20 promotional credit when I purchased it. So I got it for $89. And it's an $89 one time. I don't have to um, update it and I can put it on all three machines, which is cool. It'll run on the iPad, Mac, and Windows. So, and I've got it on Windows 10 right now. It'll run Windows 11 as well. Um, and you can go to this deals pack or a deals link and every once in a while they'll have some free or on sale. Like here are some that are on sale right now. You can split your payments, you can get gift cards, the whole bit. So what, what we want to do when we come down here to M installer. So on Windows and Mac, you got to have M installer. For the iPad, you go to the App Store and get M installer for iPad. So what we're going to do, we're going to go right here to M installer. And you can also get it off the website for iPad apparently. I didn't even see it before. But we got it for Mac and we got it installed. And they have an installation tutorial. And it's really good. I mean, these, these folks do a great job. And like I said, I'm not sponsored. They're not telling me what to do. I just purchased this this last week and been playing with it. And uh, all your purchases, if you purchase another pack, it'll be in the same application. Um... You can access it anywhere, any web, anything, any web browser you got, any computer that you log in with, you can get it. Um, and it always updates. Pretty cool. 
So we got it installed already. So I'm going to go to my applications. I'm going to go to M. You hear my wife coughing in the background and she got sinus thing going on. So it authenticates, you have to have an account on it. Very simple. Um, here's my MTuber 3. It'll tell you if you have updates or anything. You can change your settings. All right, now once you get it installed, so you'll, you'll download it and install it. You can reinstall, uninstall, whatever you wanna do right here. What we want to do, we want to go down and open up DaVinci Resolve. And this is the same on the iPad, Windows machine, whatever. And right now, I think I'm on version 18.1.2 on DaVinci Resolve. So let's open it up here. We're on my network drive and we're going to open up, we're just going to open up a new project. Okay, we've got us a new project. We're going to bring us in a, um, we're going to import us some media in. We'll just grab one of these. We'll drag it down here to the timeline. Okay, so once you're in the timeline, I like going to the edit page. And here we are in the toolbox. We come up here to effects. And we have all of our video, audio, titles, generators, effects, whatever. We can go to the motion VX tab, or we can go over here and do a search for motion VFX or tuber. That'll work too. But we're going to go here and we've got our transitions. And if you hover over, they'll actually do that. Or you can drag them down to your timeline. And all you do to drag them down to your timeline is this, you grab it with your mouse. And pull it over right there. So now when I go over here and look at this, when I hit play, now once you render it out, it'll, it'll look a lot better. But you can go into the inspector and you can change colors, uh, your timing, backgrounds. You can change everything about it. Now if I go to my titles and go to Motion VFX, MTuber 3, we have backgrounds, calls to action, and these are pretty neat because they, they have fusion animations where they go in and out, and you can edit to however you want. I mean, subscribe buttons, um, tell, asking people to smash that like button. You can go down to chapter bars. Now chapter bars is something I'm gonna start using because I've started adding chapters to all my videos. And you can edit this to where it shows your chapters and it'll actually have an animation of where you are in the video and you can pick where you wanna be in the video. They have five of those, really clean. And this is what I like about this, really clean, really neat animations and text the fonts are all good uh, they have seven intros and you'll see on this video this is one of them that I did I think I did number five and I brought it in here and just so you can animate this you can animate it to whatever you want it have been seven I used. I can't remember. But you can change it to every video you have. I'm 
and it doesn't take very long. So like if I go here and click that and we can look at all the controls in the inspector, you can have in and out animations, uh, your positioning, your text, don't know who Johnny Blazer is, uh, your elements controls, you can change this to however you want it, which that's what I really like. You can get your social media icons. Uh, the only one they don't have is Rumble, which I guess you could customize it and make your own. Uh, your social media callouts. There's one for Snapchat, but you can go in. Let's say I grab that one. And there it is. Now I can go in and change the logo from Snapchat to let's say Twitter. And it'll change it right there to Twitter. And I can be Aud Audrey the Dancer. And then they have typography. We can go in and add a lower third or a, a text title to come across your screen and you can animate that where you go in and out and have different uh, features and under effects you can go here and you can have uh, little corner screens where you can add let me slide that over you can actually move your image and it'll sit on top of the video plane under it you can have a multi-cam deal going on and then down here you can have split screens dashes you can bring attention to objects in a video a little indicators with uh, tracking you can actually make it track a uh, little pointers pulsation so if i go let me get rid of these and i bring a pulsation in it's like a zoom in, zoom out. So now if I play this video, Technology see how it pulses? Uh, you, can have a, you can have a split screen where you can have multi-cam. You can put two cams in it. Now the specs, you can go in and change this. There it is, the M2 or 3 specs. You can go in and change how it comes in and out. You can change your text. You know, if I want to change that right there, I can. You can make a drop shadow on it, whatever you want to do. The zoom, <laughs> you want to put a zoom in on your specs. I guess you can do that too. So I want to put a zoom in right here. So you would want to cut your and have a cut and then drop your zoom in right there where you want to zoom. But you can go in and make it zoom in and zoom out. You can change that and make it really polished so you don't have to put keyframes. Watch band that you can put on here for not a lot of money. Y'all stay with me. So that's a neat deal. And then you have all your transitions. So let's say you want to do a call to action. Let's, let's get rid of this. Let's drop it back in there again. One more video one. Let's say we want a call to action. Let's do that one. This is how I want it. I want to change the, the scale of it. So let's come over here and get on top of it and we'll change the position. Change the scale a little bit. And if that's what you want, the Apple Watch has been a big part of my See how smooth it came in? And it goes right back out just as smooth. Now you can turn that off if you want to. Turn it off. So.
So that is the MTuber 3 package for Motion VFX. Pretty cool. And as you can see on the iPad, I've got a little project going on. Now I have a non-M iPad. I have a 2020 iPad Pro. It does not have an M chip in it. So you're gonna see some lagginess. So what I found down here on the bottom, if I click the little gear under the master settings, 1080. Now you can upscale it later, but as far as your render for here, let's drop it down. Um, let's see. Where else did I go? Under general options, I made my cache files. I put them on my data drive, my external SSD, and video projects. And I'm using smart cache. I'm letting the machine determine how much memory to use on that. Up here on the master under camera raw, I'm using quarter resolution. I'm not sure if that's doing anything, but I'm just trying to speed the machine up, give it a little more to go on. And that's, that's about the best I can do with it. Hit save. And when you drag a control down, so I drug the social media 05 control down. And that little blue line right above the control, that's where it's doing its render with the smart cache. So now let's see, I've got the audio muted. I'll hit play. Now it took just a minute for that to render. I'll do another one here. See the little line <clears throat> popped up on it? Excuse me. The little line popped up on it. Now it's got to render that fusion component out. But that's how you do it. You have all your tools over here in the sidebar for MTuber or MTuber 3 or whatever package that you bought. And it works just like on the Mac. It works same way in Windows. You drag it down, you let your smart cache or your user cache render it out, and then you have a control there. And it goes in and out just like that. And you can you can add all your transitions. Now on the non-M iPad, it's gonna be slower. But it works. And I haven't had it crash yet. I haven't had it where I had to restart the application or anything. So that's iPad. Now I'm not gonna show you the Windows machine because it's just like the Mac. It installs it. You just drag your control in, edit the way you want it, and you've got a video. So I may do another video where I show it on Windows. But so far, that works pretty good. And I'm very happy with it. So there you go. All right. That shows you the Motion VFX MTuber 3 package. Very happy with it. And the link's in the description to everything. Hope y'all enjoy it. Hope you get some out of it. If you use a Motion VFX product, let me know down there in the comments. If you create your own, let me know that too. I'd like to know that. But anyway, hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And Hope y'all are having a great day and a great weekend. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.